From Washington, D.C. to the Republic of Korea, questions abound about what does the high-level meeting between China and the DPRK mean? U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted that his administration's get tough policy with DPRK leader Kim Jong-un is helping facilitate efforts to reduce tension on the Korean Peninsula. For years and through many administrations, everyone said that peace and the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was not even a small possibility. Now there's a good chance that Kim Jong-un will do what is right for his people and humanity. Look forward to our meeting. There's huge significance that it's China. But a host of analysts say it's clear that the bond between China and the DPRK is back on track. I think both China signaling that it is the regional power to be reckoned with and any kind of management or ultimately resolution of the Korean Peninsula tensions has that road running through Beijing. China has been consistent calling for a nuclear-free peninsula and urging the U.S. and its allies to halt military training near DPRK borders. Trump is scheduled to hold a historic meeting with the DPRK leader and sees the Xi-Kim meeting as a positive precursor. Received message last night from Xi Jinping of China that his meeting with Kim Jong-un went very well and that Kim looks forward to his meeting with me. In the meantime, and unfortunately, maximum sanctions and pressure must be maintained at all cost. China has supported punishing economic sanctions against the DPRK. The UN imposed sanctions after a series of nuclear and ballistic missile tests. But as long as there is dialogue, anything is possible. We're going to be uh, cautiously optimistic, but we feel like things are moving in the right direction. The Trump administration continues to drive home its get tough policy, but the language coming out of Beijing is far different. The two leaders talk about a friendship that has been nurtured over the years, with President Xi saying the bond is a strategic choice and the only right choice. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Washington.